Guess what? These two things are equal, but in math, this one is bad. Good. The process of changing the first one into the second one is called rationalizing a denominator, and you are here to learn that. So let's go. We're going to start simple. To take the square root of a fraction, you take the square root of the top and the bottom, and when I simplify that, the square root of 1 is the number 1, and the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. Perfectly good answer, but it's in bad form. It's not final form. To rationalize, you take the top and the bottom times that radical. So the square root of 3 times 1 is the square root of 3, and the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3 times 3. Well, the square root of 3 times 3 is the square root of 9. When you simplify this, the square root of 3 over 3, that thing is rationalized. We don't usually write all the steps out. I'm doing that here so you see what's going on. I know that the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just going to give me the number 3 at the end after I do all the simplification. It doesn't take very long to to learn that shortcut. Again, rewriting it so that you have the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator because that's how you do the square root of a fraction. We are going to rationalize by taking the top and the bottom times the square root of 7, and we end up with the square root of 2x times 7 on the top and the square root of 7 times 7 on the bottom works out to be square root of 14x over the square root of 49, but the square root of 49 is the number 7. If you take the square root of a number times itself, you're going to get that number back. Starting out the same way, doing the rationalizing, and we end up with this. And that looks really good. Do not divide that 60 by the 5. That's not the real number 60. It's the square root of 60. And the square root of 60 is probably not divisible by 5. So this feels like you're finished, but no, you're going to get that wrong because that numerator is not completely broken down. It's not a simplified radical. So there's a little bit more work to do here. You already accomplished the rationalizing the denominator part. That's beautiful. But the top, there's perfect squares buried in there. One of the perfect squares in, in a 60 is 4. So 4 times 15 is 60. And then that x cubed is actually x squared times x. So I'm going to rewrite all this, and I'm going to put those perfect squares up in front. And the leftovers, 15x, stays in the radical by itself. Rewriting that, the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x. And 15x is the leftovers. And now you stop. Now this is your final answer. Did you forget how to do this last part? If you did, watch this video, and I'll teach you how to simplify radicals. Thanks for watching. Bye.